Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a green makeup look. This is it here, right here. <laughs> this is it. It's a kind of natural, glowy look that just has a little pop of green on the lid. So if you're curious to see how I achieved this look and which products I use, then just keep watching. Here we go. Friend, how are you today? We are here using a green eyeshadow palette for a get ready with me. I had filmed a makeup organizational video where we went through and selected palettes that had, oh, two or three or more green eyeshadows in them. Please hold. Here they are. Uh, you can go back to that video to see like the whole journey of picking them. But we have quite a few in here and I have played with quite a few but I was thinking for today we would do the makeup revolution the Emily edit the wants palette because a lot of uh, people have commented about this palette so I thought that maybe we would use it here's what the inside looks like we could do like maybe like so we have the at foresight raw beauty Christy and ColourPop. This one has a color in it called Emerald City. No, Evergreen. <laughs> and I think it could be like a pretty like top coat, top color, <laughs> top coat. <laughs> um, so that might be pretty to kind of just tap on top when we're done. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just, oh, but just my luck by ColourPop. I feel like most people want the Emily edit because more people have it. So I think we'll stick with that and maybe tap on a color from this palette. Guys, I got this shirt from Target yesterday. It was $12. It's the Wild Fable brand. And I almost thought I would take it back because I didn't try it on at the store. But I think it's cute and I think I'm just going to wear it. <laughs> just going to wear it. That's that. We'll move on. Okay, so let me get everything set up. So we're going to do a full face of makeup today, and we're going to use products from my latest makeup basket, which is the um, themed makeup basket YouTubers I watch. So these were all products influenced by YouTubers that I watch, and yeah, that was a fun video. I watch a lot of YouTubers. Okay, so I have all my products here. I just kind of pulled everything. Not that we're going to apply all of this to my face today, but it's here. If we want to, we can. Okay. I need to start with primer. I already have SPF on my face. Uh, so let's go in with Too Faced Hangover Primer Classic Tried and True. Like this because it's like a moisturizing primer and I have dry skin. So it's really a win-win for me. So I just rub it on with my fingers. Ooh, it feels cool. How you guys doing? What you up to? How's your March going? Mine's going really well. Really well. I have help with my business. I'm a personal trainer. I own Make Life Fit, which is virtual fitness. So I have a monthly subscription service. You can do three follow-along classes a week with me. Um, and you can access them as many times as you want. I do virtual one-on-one -on -one sessions. But I basically gotten to the point where I can't do it all y'all I can't do it all my energy was like down plummeted nothing was left it's crying to my therapist I'm like ah, ah. <laughs> she's like I think you need help like with your business we're gonna go in with covergirl this is l2 classic ivory and this is their true blend hydrating foundation this one doesn't ever get a lot of love but I like it and we're gonna go put it on we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna put it on with the elf I think this is the elf sponge so I got help I have someone helping me with social media and I in my weekly newsletters someone editing the videos for that uh, subscription service and I'm already feeling my energy come back um, and that's probably well that is why I haven't really done a lot on my channel outside of my weekly makeup uh, basket videos and just some makeup organizational videos because that's really all I had energy to do and 
So that's what I did. But now I have more energy to like film this video today that I'm like so excited to be sitting here with you guys filming and talking about makeup and all of that good stuff. And I meant to put my concealer on first. I totally forgot. That's okay. That's fine. That's all right. Another day. Um, I saw that like Jessica Braun and like people on TikTok were putting their concealer on first. And I wanted to do that with you guys, but old habits, they just cre creep on in. All right. You see how like natural but glowy that foundation is you could build it up a little bit more but honestly after I put my concealer on and after I put the finishing powder or setting powder on it's going to be just enough coverage for me so we'll just stop there we are going to use the concealer that goes along with it which is the covergirl true blend concealer and this one also is classic ivory I love this one so much, but um, we're just we're just gonna do a little here, a little here, here, here. Less is more, you know. Less is more. Then I'm just gonna blend it in. What What is your favorite product this month? Let me know. I want to know what you are loving that you can't put down. It could be new. It could be a throwback. It could be limited edition. Like what? Are you just obsessed with this month? I would really, really like to know. I am doing a no buy on my channel and we are approximately halfway through. And part of my rules of the no buy, we're gonna do Mac Painterly on the lids. Part of the rules of the no buy is if there was an amazing sale or a limited edition item that came out, I would allow myself to get it. So Sunday, um, I'm filming, so yesterday I'm filming this on Monday. You're probably seeing it on Wednesday. But anyways, um, they had, Ulta had half off their traditional MAC blushes on their, for their 21 Days of Beauty. So I went ahead and got Melba, I think of Melba. So I'm excited. That was one that I'm always looking to buy a blush, but I can never justify the $24 or whatever the cost is. So I never do it. So when I saw that was on sale, I was like, we're just going to get it. Okay. We're just going to get it. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So I am going to go ahead. Wow. This is CoverGirl heavy. I love this. So we're going in with CoverGirl Clean Fresh Press Powder. Mine is in 120 Fair. Um, actually, I'm going to take Laura Mercier. This is the Press Translucent Powder. And I'm going to use this one for under my eyes. And then use this one for all over my face. So I'll go in with two separate powders. So something kind of exciting happened. My friend gave us a doggy stroller for Morty. Ah, oh, we're about to go on our first walk together. Um... She had purchased it from Chewy, the website Chewy, and she had ordered the wrong size. And so she contacted Chewy and they refunded her and said, just give it to someone else. <laughs> so she posted on her Instagram um, that she was looking to give it away for free and asked if anyone was interested. So I immediately was like, us, because we, um, We've been wanting to get him one for a while because Morty is my 15-year-old Pomeranian and he can walk a block or so and be okay. But more than that, his joints just aren't here for it. And so we oftentimes just don't take him on our walks because we go on such long walks. So uh, I'm so excited. I'm, I think what I'm going to do is let him walk like a block or two and then put him in so then we can finish the walk. Um, I sat him in it and he did, didn't cry, didn't bark. So I hope that's like a good sign for us, but I think it will just be good for him to have more opportunities to be outside the house and be with us. He hates being alone in his crate. Okay. We're still a little tacky. So after this video, I'm going to eat lunch. Then I have a call, a client call to jump on and then we're walking. I'm excited for that. All right, so this is what the base is looking like. You can see like some of my redness is still coming through just a little bit, but for the most part, I think it looks still pretty natural. Um, just a little more 
are evened out and glowy. So I love that for us. The next thing that we are going to go in with is bronzer. And this is, did I pull another bronzer? Oh, I did. Okay, I was going to do a Project Pan bronzer, but let's just go ahead and do the one that we pulled for Weekly Makeup Basket, which is the NARS uh, Laguna bronzer. My makeup collection is very much a mix of high-end and drugstore, probably more so drugstore, but I do enjoy some high-end products here and there. They're just, you know, they're just a little bit more of an investment, you know? I love this It by Ulta brush. It's called a bronzer brush. Bronzer brush. <laughs> and it is, um, I just like spit, sorry. It's made for bronzer, but it's so light and fluffy that like I literally don't even feel it on my face, which is like a dream. So look at, there's a bronzer. There's no bronzer. Isn't that crazy? Oh, so pretty. Y'all, it's officially spring, at least here. Okay, we went a little heavy there. At least here in the U.S., other parts of the world. I know other parts of the world are like going into their winter or whatever. But for us, it's spring. I feel like we <laughs> we're coming out of a dark hole. Um, I'm in the Midwest, and I'm just so excited for Well, it's pretty rainy, but sunshine, more sunshine. It was sunshiny all weekend it was so beautiful it just creates such like a positive vibe and a positive feeling just gonna go without any extra product so i could blend out that craziness that was just there on my forehead um yeah so i'm so excited for that okay bare cheeks here we go mm. Mm. bronzer all day it always gets patchy right there Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love this. Love this. For you guys on the TikTok, why don't you talk? T O K, why don't you talk? You don't stop. I got my husband Jared on it. He's like, Why did you do this to me? <laughs> Ooh, look. It's just like YouTube. You find your people that you like, and then you want to see everything they post. All right. MAC, speaking of, we're going in with MAC. This is Double Gleam Highlight. And we're going to put this all over. Here's what I like to watch on TikTok. Some people do, like, daily diaries, or, like, their day in 60 seconds at a time. I really, I really like those types of videos. Um, some people do like a uh, restock where they restock their like kitchens and their pantries and their jars and that's really satisfying to watch. Um, a lot of people do like what to eat in a day or healthy meal swaps. I love watching those. Um, and then the other thing I like to watch are cleaning videos on there. That's kind of where I have landed and really enjoy it and get sucked in. So I leave TikTok for evenings and weekends because it is such a time like, you know, you just, you're just swiping. You're just swiping. But I really have started to find it to be like relaxing almost because I just get so happy seeing my people post. Um, so yeah, are, are you guys into it? Are you just kind of like, no, it's not worth your time? It's a lot of time. So if it's not worth your time, then it's not worth your time. All right, we have five blushes. We have three Milani's. We have Luminoso Classic. We have uh, Berry Amore and Dulce Pink, which are these. So pretty. But I think I'm going to use the MAC So Natural blushes. I have, no, sorry, they're Glow Play blushes. So this one is So Natural. And then this one is Cheer Up. So I think we'll go so natural since we're going to do green eyes that um, it won't compete with the eyes. So I just use a normal, this is like a putty cream to powder product just like um, those ColourPop ones. So I just use a normal blush brush for it. So I just go in like I would a normal blush and then just kind of put it on like a normal blush. And these 
are buildable so I just kind of build them up a little bit this is probably the closest to a cream product I can get on board with oh cream products in general are super popular right now but it's just not not my thing but this this is right right I just love it mm, mm. we'll blend it all out in the end don't worry don't get stressed if this is your first makeup video with me you might feel stressed in the middle, but it always comes out in the end. So don't worry. Don't worry. All right. So it is time for eyes. I do the base makeup pretty quick. Um, usually it just takes me a few minutes, but since we've been talking, it's been longer. All right. Going in with the Emily Edit Palette by Makeup Revolution. Here's what I here's what I do for green eyes so that they're very wearable. So this isn't going to be like a this isn't going to be an editorial um, look. This is going to be more so like just an everyday natural how to wear green eyes every day. So what I like to do is build up my crease with more natural colors, more like a warm look. So taking um, probably a mixture of Midwest and dues paid and building those into my crease. And then we'll go in with some of these green shadows on my lid. But I really feel like the warm crease is like the place to be. And if you're in a work environment where green eyeshadow wouldn't fly, then one thing you could do is like supernatural eyes where you keep it all like in this brown family. But then take maybe like the darkest green that you have and do it like a winged eyeliner or just an eyeliner with a uh, brush, like a flat brush. So there's options to make it wearable every day. So this is just my version. So we'll go in, um, like I said, we'll do Midwest and do. So Midwest, we're just going to take a little bit on the top of my crease right here, very lightly with the brush and I'm just letting that kind of like fan out the brush is very very barely touching my lid okay you see that you see that she's there like she's barely touching but you can see that color is paying off big time and one thing I like to do is look down so I have a mirror right here so I'm looking down and I really feel like that helps me find my crease and build my crease up a little bit more. So that's going to be the first thing. Then I'm going to go in with a more pinched in brush. This is Sephora's crease brush. And I'm going to go in with Dews Paid, which is more of like a uh, warmer tone. It kind of has hints of red to it. And we're going to put that more so in the crease. Um, again, barely touching. Um, building that up, but more centralized, centralized, yeah, centralized, <laughs> basically a professional here, guys, don't worry, all right, so we're going in with that, blending it out a little bit, doing the same thing on the other eye, more so in the center, see, I looked up and it started skipping, that's okay. That's okay. We'll work through it. There we go. See? It's okay. It's okay. Don't get stressed, y'all. You usually look a hot mess until it's all done anyways. And then I'm just going to blend them out a little bit more without any extra product. Yeah. See, this is like an everyday look that you could really just stop here, maybe put a shimmer on the lid and be done. But because we are going to focus on green, we are going to just kind of build the greens up. So we're going to go in with Grateful, which is the lightest green in this palette. And I'm going to just tap that more so in the center of my lid. And this one can be like a little, like touch and go. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to layer on some other colors. But I just think this color is so pretty. And honestly, you could just like blend it out more and be okay with just this kind of spotlight color 
in the middle of your lid and this color is absolutely gorgeous ooh, ooh, ooh. we're gonna go back in with the sephora crease brush and we're gonna go into side hustle which is a little bit of a darker green color and again this could be on your lids if you wanted it to be but i'm gonna use it to kind of build up the outer edge just a little bit and i'm just gonna keep it right there did get a little fallout that's okay i just want this to look a little bit darker i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side And I'm really just patting it on the outer corner. I'm not taking it into the crease or doing anything else. So that's what we're looking like right now. So I'm going to go in with our first brush without any additional product and just blend, blend, again, barely touching. Yep, and that's where we are there. So the final thing that I want to do is go in, well, two more steps. I'm gonna go in with this palette at Foresight and we're gonna pick up that evergreen color right here. I just really like this tone of green. And we're gonna set it on top of that first green and take it a little bit more in towards the inner corner. And we're gonna pack that on just a little bit. So the color underneath is more of a true green color so it makes this color just add like an extra dimension whereas this color would not be as green by itself so that's why we're just kind of tapping it over just to create a fun dimension and then that's gonna be the bulk of the eyes so we have a lot of cleaning to do and then I have one more green step for you so first off, let's just take a big fluffy brush and let's get that excess product fallout off. So I'm just gonna use our fluffy brush from earlier, barely touch it and just flick it away. There, it's gone. It's gone, never happened. Okay, then we are gonna take a brush that is clean but it is fluffy, no product. We're going around the edges, especially right here. Right here always gets a little, little crazy for me. We're gonna go in. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Kind of brushing it up a little bit. Then we're gonna go in and around. And then I go back in with our first brush. Again, no extra product, but I do just like to kind of control where I blow it back out. All right, then I'm gonna go in like a flatter brush. Actually, I want to use the Real Techniques one. We're gonna go in with corduroy. It's more like um, a teal, teal color, but it, it's still green. So you're gonna go on with like a flat brush and we're gonna make it like liner. So I just like to stamp it. Actually, I put on my magnifying side of my mirror and then I just stamp it along. Do that on the other side. Flip my mirror around and just check it out. Again, clean up the excess. enjoying doing personally is going back in with the highlighter that I used 
and using that as the inner corner highlight. So going in with the MAC Double Gleam, putting it in here just a little bit. I'm just gonna go through one more time with our first brush. I'm just gonna blend a little bit. Okay, I went ahead and put on the Bambi um, mascara or the Bambi Eye Mascara by L'Oreal. I really like this. I did two coats and then I very lightly put it on the bottom. So I didn't do any actual eyeshadow down there, just did some mascara. Just keep it more open. Kind of go back and forth on whether I put shadow down there or not. So the next thing we're going to do is take that brush again and just start blending out around the edges. Then I'll go back in with our CoverGirl and I'll put some product on. Again, go down. And I'll kind of go over as well. Okay, and I'm just tapping on a little bit extra blush. It's crazy because it looks a little patchy on camera. Like when I look, it looks so like stark. But when I look in like just a normal mirror, it looks fine. It didn't do. Okay, here we go. Brows, 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 brows. This is the Makeup Revolution Soap Styler. So it looks like this when you open it. It comes with like a little brush, a wax on it. I don't know if mine's a little bit dried out or if it just always feels dry like that. But what I do is I take the brush and I just like run it in, get some on the brush. Then I brush them through my brows and I don't really do the traditional soap look, but I like that this makes my brows kind of stiff so it's easier to fill them in so that's what they look like with just this in I'm going in with the Too Faced uh, chocolate brownie and I am gonna just kind of again run through then I'll take the actual liner Fill in more so the spots that are kind of bare. Hoo hoo hoo, see it makes them thicker. I think I kind of like it. We're going with Gimme Brow. We're just gonna set them. Okay, see, it always comes together. For setting spray, we'll go in with the Milani Dragon Fruit Peach. These are good. And then while that's drying down, we'll go in with lips. I'm trying to think. I think we'll just do like a gloss. Let's do both of these Buxom glosses. So we have Mudslide and we have White Russian. So we'll do Mudslide first, which is more pink. I love these so much. They were on sale yesterday for the sale. I was strong. But I do love them. Then we're just going to put White Russian in the center. Alright guys, and this is the final look. It always comes together. I'm telling you, in the middle we're like, ooh, Abby, start over. It's not looking good. Start over. But, y'all, I think it came out so nice. Look how thick the brows are. The green is there, but it's very subtle. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I really like this lip combo. It's the first time I've ever done it, but I think it makes both of these more wearable for me because naturally, how did I lose one already? <laughs> naturally, they're not very wearable on their own, but I somehow have lost the other one. It'll, it'll come up. Oh, here it is. Um, but together, I think they're really pretty. This might be a spring go-to. So I really like it. Let me know, do you guys have a go-to green look? What do you think of the final makeup? Ooh, that was so cute. Morty, we're gonna be so cute on our little walk. Guys, 
thanks so much for watching. Thank you for requesting this video. It means a lot to me that you watch my channel, that you give me feedback for ideas on videos, and that you're just here. I love filming for you guys, and I love the way this look came out. Ooh! Subscribe if you are new. And uh, we'll just, you know, we just talk about makeup. Sometimes we go outside of the makeup category, but I'm more consistent with the makeup content. Okay, that's more of like, I just like talking about it. <laughs> um, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great day. We'll just see you in the next video. Bye.